I can hear a squirrel barking in the distance over there. It is squirrel season too. But I'm not ready to start hunting them yet because we haven't had a freeze. And I don't hunt normally until after a freeze. But I do come out here and just enjoy the woods. See, I came from that direction, so I think that squirrel was disturbed by me coming through. When I first started recording, I could also hear a woodpecker right up here somewhere. What is that from? That's pretty interesting because it's obviously not a herbivore, although it's been eating persimmons because you can see the persimmons, persimmon seeds in it. So whatever it is, is an omnivore. And whatever it is, is big because raccoon wouldn't be that big. Let me give you a little sense of scale here. So that's pretty good size. I actually didn't even notice that until I walked over here. I didn't know it was here when uh, I first started recording. So how many animals are big enough to leave that? Actually, that, that's a better sense of scale. How many animals are big enough to eat that? Or to leave that, I mean. But would be uh, eating persimmons. You know, it's obviously from a carnivore or omnivore and it's got to be an omnivore since it ate persimmons and from the shape of it and the the darkness of it and everything whatever it is is a meat eater as well so so that means it's not a mountain lion which I know are around here because I've seen them but uh, and for you know I've seen they're sign too, but I've seen them with my own two eyes. But uh, I just wonder what that is. I guess it's possible it could be a dog, but I don't know. Just don't know. I'm thinking black bear. Those are my thoughts. It adds up, you know. We don't have a lot of them around here, but we definitely have some. And uh, I'm thinking that might be what it is.
here's actually what I was heading in this direction for. That's a shag bark hickory. And that's another one leaning this direction. One of these days it's going to fall probably. There's another interesting thing up here too. Let's go around. Oh, it's not old. Yeah, I saw that it was blue and I was thinking maybe it was old, but it's not. Oh well. Now I believe in picking up trash. I'll tell you what I'll do. Well. I'll at least put it down on the edge of the road. So there, now it's not in the woods anymore. There's some flagging tape on a tree up there to mark some sort of boundary. There's another big shag bark hickory and another one, bunch of them around here. As you can see, the leaves are falling and uh, it has cooled off here quite a bit. It's supposed to be even cooler this weekend. In fact, it's supposed to be down in the 30s, I believe, unless they've changed it since I looked at it. At least one night it's supposed to be in the 30s. So I'm looking forward to that. There's the first unnatural sound I've heard. An airplane. It's too bad people litter out here so much. Most of you guys are familiar with this area and what we do up here. Going forward, most of this type of content is going to be on my Patreon page. A move that I have resisted for a long time. But uh, most of the other producers on YouTube who produce this type of content have moved to Patreon a long time ago. And the reason I finally decided to do it is because, as you know, YouTube greatly cracked down and restricted what I could do with this type of content, and I'm not, uh, I'm not satisfied with that. You know, I used to produce a lot more in-depth content like this, and I can't do that on YouTube anymore. So, I'm going to do that on Patreon, and I hope you'll support me in that. I know some of you probably won't, but I hope enough, enough of you will to enable me to be able to make good content there. And I intend to make some good content there too. Oh, 
torture tasks, for example, and uh, just more in-depth types of uh, content like this. So, I hope to see you there. Thank you.